On Palm Sunday, the ladies in white attended mass at a church in Havana's Miramar neighborhood, not long after the group's leader received an invitation to meet President Obama. Berta Soler told me she's not hopeful. President Obama said he'd visit when Cuba started respecting human rights, she said, adding that's not happening. We march with pain, this woman told me as the ladies continued walking down Miramar's Fifth Avenue. The White House says it's getting unfettered access to the dissidents, but the ladies in white say that's not exactly the case because many dissidents have been detained and some are under house arrest. Longtime human rights activist Elizardo Sanchez will also meet with President Obama. I hope the president brings the message that we will soon see an end to this dictatorship, he said. But as the ladies continued their march, we saw signs of support for the Cuban regime. This large rally, organized by the government, included hundreds of young people. As the crowd got louder, the ladies in white were bussed away with a police escort as the pro-government rally continued in a party atmosphere. At least three of the ladies in white were placed in police cars and taken away after that confrontation. That actually happens practically every Sunday when the ladies in white come face to face with government supporters. And Rudabay, tonight there's also news on the business front from Cuba. Elliot, we've learned that Starwood, the hotel chain, has just signed a contract to renovate and run three hotels here on the island, returning the chain to Cuba for the first time in more than half a century. And we also know that the CEO of Marriott is here on the island as well. So a lot of news on that front. And of course, Elliot and I will be here bringing you continuing coverage of the president's historic visit. Back to you in the studio.